imagine a world where everybody wore the same clothes, a place where everyone had identical style and monotonous admirations. Now, that wouldn't be the most exuberant and stimulating world, would it? The clothes we wear say something about us, intentional or not, even to those we don't speak to directly. They address the fundamental human need to belong and to identify with a group of others just like us, whether it's a lifestyle, a culture, a religion, or even an attitude. Fashion assists people in expressing the creative energy that they don't have the ability to vocalize themselves. However, I've often felt that fashion is rather unfairly disregarded by most as some form of shallow or even vain design discipline. Objects made solely for the viewing pleasure of the elite. However, the more we explore this intricate and complex world, the more we realize that fashion is the vast exploration of humanity and the human form. These aren't just the clothes on your back, they're architecture and culture at its most intimate level. Let's think about it, fashion and architecture. It's a convergence we've seen time and time again, whether it's Alexander McQueen's avant-garde designs or Zaha Hadid's metallic chromed fiberglass platforms. Like these two such designers, architects and fashion designers aim to produce environments defined through spatial awareness. The structures they create are based on volume, proportion, function, and material. The goal of such structures is to express ideas of personal, social, and cultural identity, reflecting the interests of the age's ambition and a certain targeted audience. Through such powerful identity, clothes and buildings can perceive change in a city, and they truly show it. One does so by dressing bodies, and the other by dressing places. But there is definitely more than one way to perceive the underlying meaning behind each design realm. Though fashion and architecture clearly aim to identify certain cultural and societal identities, they also have the potential to affect our emotional well-being. Think of it this way. Fashion refers to the articles one wears, but style is how you put it together and how confident you feel when you go about your daily life. Similarly, our moods and our attitudes are affected by our living and our work conditions. Sunlight, cleanliness, neatness, and comfort. On a deeper level, fashion and architecture have less to do with luxury and design and everything to do with feeling comfortable in your own skin and in your own habitat. They are more than just form and function and overlay for our heads and for our bodies. People become attached to their clothes just as they do with the places they live and work every day. Both design aesthetics are ultimately creative outlets for those who wish to give off a little piece of who they are. Now take a look at these images. These images of Alexander McQueen is just one example of a designer that drew from culture and architecture to create nuanced and three-dimensional garments. Every garment that he constructed and that his successor Sarah Burton currently constructs can only be described as structural perfection, creating unthinkable amounts of volume in space by simply manipulating with their, the material with their bare hands into mere architectural framework. For me, this is where the blur from fashion into architecture begins. It's the simple process of taking the human form and building space around it. This form is manipulated and contorted to initiate some kind of response within the inhabitant. Designers sanction are relevant in the world we inhabit. In the world we inhabit, uh, for merging each design discipline will create a solid and shared understanding of space, structure, and composition. Alexander McQueen was a genius in that he wasn't just a designer of pretty as a picture clothing. He understood every aspect of our human form and of our reality. He knew how to make us feel relevant and empowered by a simple change in silhouette, color, and texture. But as I so briefly mentioned, architecture can truly reveal so much about a certain time period or era. In reality, and I know many of you would not disagree, we tend to walk the streets passing hundreds of structures 
work in office spaces within tall buildings, and even though we are constantly surrounded by incredible constructs, we never truly notice the history and the culture and the identity behind such architecture. Several people, even ourselves, are so caught up with the dilemmas of the future that we never take a moment to look into the present, the now. Architecture, an art that is truly and sadly overlooked, can truly reveal so much about a certain time period or era, an aspect that can also apply to the world of fashion. Though architectural form serves the function as a safe haven and as a shelter, it is also an expression of and a contributor to a society's culture, not only influencing our way of life, but the way in which we carry ourselves in society today, whether that's through our attitudes or through the clothes in which we fashion. Similarly to the clothes upon our back, architecture improves and changes human lifestyle drastically, for it makes us create communities, spaces to interact, and ultimately experience a whole new world within the confines of a structure. In a way, fashion and architecture have the potential to depict pop culture, for they can both freeze moments in time that reflect on the social and cultural entities of a society. As time has progressed, it has become undoubtedly evident that fashion and architecture have become a means of representation and communication of cultural identity rather than simply a protective covering for human beings. For clothing, if we take it apart, there is so much that goes unnoticed. Do human beings ever truly look at clothing as more than sheer beauty? Do we obtain the potential to see past the exterior and unveil the meaning and the identity behind such amazing garments? I mean, really. If you think about it, people in different countries dress differently. And to break that down even further, people within countries dress differently. From garments alone, you can almost Im immediately discern a person's place of origin, their personality, and even their religious background. Take Dolce & Gabbana's Fall Winter 2013 collection. Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana use the golden mosaics of Sicily's Cathedral of Montreal as a starting point for their new fall collection. Dolce & Gabbana sent out hundreds of dresses printed in Montreal's famous Byzantine and Venetian mosaics, mosaics vital to the identity, culture, and religious element of the church itself. Their, their collection proves a more romanticized version of the cathedral. It clearly reflects the zeitgeist of the Byzantine Empire. While Alexander McQueen used shape and volume in his attempt to create architectural fashion, Dolce & Gabbana utilized their structural in inspiration differently, for they used meticulous detailing to accentuate the originality and pertinence of this structurally and culturally significant cathedral. Though each designer's clothing proves extremely extortionate, when I look at such structurally intriguing garments as such, I look past the exterior and delve deep into the meaning and the identity and the influence such clothing can have on modern society and ultimately our way of life. Building on more than the mere desire for sheer and complete beauty, architectural fashion continually meets the challenges that occur within an ever-changing industry. With their earned reputation for complementing the human form, voluminous structure, an outlet for self-expression, and a source of cultural identity, the convergence of fashion and architecture has the potential to sway people's thinking change their actions, and ultimately cause their reactions. Though the common dismissal is that any interest in fashion demonstrates a person's inner absorption with superficiality, clothes express a kind of creative energy incapable of being frankly vocalized by the wearer, something that encapsulates both the cultural and societal components of a community. With a greater impact on the general public than just form and function, fashion is beginning to change lives, changing our perspectives and the way in which we carry ourselves in society today. It's ultimately not about a price tag or specific designer anymore, but how we view fashion, how we interpret it, and how we understand its universal impact. In striving for a more creative, cutting edge and innovative world, we are no longer just wearing our clothing. We are inhabiting it. Thank you.